Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today's video is from my Stitch Orama by Nastasia collection. This stitch is oftentimes called the basket weave stitch. You can find the written pattern on my website, Nastasia.com. To begin, chain 38 or any multiple of 10 plus 8. By the way, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. Skip three chains and make one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. Chain one. Make one double crochet in each of the next four stitches again. Two, three, and four. Chain one. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end, after you make your four, make one more double crochet in the last chain. Chain three and turn your work. Make one front post double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. Chain one. Now, Make one back post double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. Chain one. For the next set of four stitches, make four front post double crochet stitches. Take note how we are altering our posts. Chain one. And in the next set of four stitches, make one back post double crochet stitch. Two. Three. And four. Chain one. Continue on across the row. At the end, always remember to make one double crochet in the last stitch. Chain three and turn your work. For every three rows, we're going to keep the posts facing the same way. So, the first set of four posts are in the back. Therefore, we need to make four back post double crochet stitches. And four. Chain one. Now, in these next set of four stitches, the posts are in the front. Therefore, we need to make four front post double crochet stitches. Chain one. And the next, make four back post double crochet stitches. Chain one. Keep going across the row in this manner. Also, if you're on social media, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Three rows have been completed. Now, for the next three rows, we're going to do the opposite. Anywhere there's a back post, we're going to do a front post. 
Anywhere there's a front post, we're going to do a back post. Since these are front posts, I'm going to do four back post double crochet stitches. Two, three, and four. Chain one. These are back post stitches. I'm going to do four front post double crochet stitches. Chain one. The next set is four back post double crochet stitches. Keep going across the row. For this next row, we need to make the posts go the same way. Therefore, we'll start with four front post stitches. Always remember the chain one in between. And for the next set of stitches, we'll do back post stitches. Keep going across the row. And for row six, we're going to make the posts go the same way again. So these first four will be back posts. This next set will be front post stitches. You can see what this looks like now. Continue across the row. Now for row seven, we do the opposite again. This row will start with back post stitches which is the opposite of the previous three rows. Continue on in this pattern for as long as you wish. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and comment on this video. Check out the video's description and the info button. Also, this video has both closed captions and auto-translated subtitles. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.